bedrock installation instructions for Ford 2017 to current models. The truck bed warranty card and all required installation hardware is located inside the gooseneck hitch box. All wire adapters are sold separately. First, disconnect the vehicle battery or batteries. Locate and remove the 8-star bolts located on the factory truck bed floor. You will not need them to install your flatbed. Disconnect the 20-pin gray wire harness. Disconnect the backup camera wire harness. Remove the fuel fill bracket and screws from the factory truck bed. DEF will be included on diesel engines. Remove the factory truck bed using the four lifting eyes. Use your available lifting method to remove the bed from the truck. Secure the back bumper for removal. Locate the eight bolts securing the rear bumper and remove from the bumper brackets. Ensure all wiring is disconnected before removing. Lift the rear bumper at an angle to remove it from the vehicle. Do not remove the factory receiver hitch. This will remain on the vehicle. Install the 20-pin adapter on the rear passenger side. Vehicle years 2017 to 2019 will require grounding to the vehicle frame for the two resistors on the wire adapter. Be sure to remove the paint before grounding. Twenty seventeen 2017 to 2019 vehicles will need the TWA Ford 2017 TKO wire adapter. Twenty twenty to current year models will require the TWA Ford twenty twenty TKO wire adapter. Carefully raise the bedrock truck bed, keeping the bed as level as possible over the frame of the vehicle. Place the front of the bed approximately two and a half inches from the back of the cab. 
Ensure the headache rack is at the correct height according to the height of the cab. Ford takeoff beds are typically set on the highest setting. You will now secure the truck bed to the frame using the same eight holes used to secure the factory bed. The hardware is stored in the gooseneck hitch box. Begin on the driver's side and align the front hole. Install the M14 by 40 bolt with a lock washer, then a flat washer, and use the factory clip nut on the frame of the truck. Only hand tighten. Repeat on the passenger side and complete the step for the two front holes and the four center holes. The two rear holes will require M14 by 60 bolts. When all bolts are installed, tighten and torque the eight bolts to 115 foot-pounds. This is critical. Connect the blue wire adapter to the five pin black connector on the bedrock bed. Install the fuel filler neck into the truck bed's fuel fill bracket. If the vehicle is a diesel, you will also need to install the DEF filler neck. Additional hose for the fuel fill and DEF can be purchased from Transfer Flow Supply Company. The bed is equipped with a knockout hole in the license plate box for the spare tire removal. Check alignment of the hole with a square-ended shaft on the spare tire crank. To install the camera on the rear of the bed, you can purchase a kit TDCKB from Bedrock with instructions for using the camera from the OEM tailgate. The four backup sensors will need to be located on the rear skirt of the bed. Holes will need to be marked and drilled according to the length of the harness. Normal location is around two inches from the bottom of the skirt. If the vehicle is equipped with a BLIS system, your local Ford dealer can disable the option using bulletin Q265. Reconnect the vehicle battery or batteries. Ensure all lighting is working properly on the front and rear of the vehicle, both driver and passenger sides. Left blinkers. Right blinkers. Brake lights. Reverse lights. Emergency flashers. Running lights. If there is a hyper flash on the dash turn signal, add a resistor to the tail lights. Supplied with the adapter kit TWA Ford 2017 TKO. Repeat on passenger side.
Once the resistors are installed, remove the key from the ignition and allow the truck's computer to rest the amperage on the taillights. Your installation is now complete. Thank you for choosing Bedrock Truck Beds.